This is round two of the elimination event and I lost the die roll. I'm gonna keep this hand because it's basically perfect. I have um threat, I have powerful removal spells. Okay, well if he's playing um John Walkers, then the chain rocks are gonna be horrible. Besides that, it's still gonna be pretty good. Not really. If he's John if he's John Walker, this is gonna be annoying. Okay, the magnet is a solid draw. He is John Walkers. How annoying. I don't actually know what I want to see yet, so I'm not actually gonna um play jet yet. I'm considering using lightning strike though. Two phoenixes is a fantastic draw. And actually, now I probably will use Jet just to look for um, look for land. Here we go. Interesting. Do I use chains here or um or what? I think I will use chains here. Wow. Do not need three phoenixes, that's like overdoing it a little bit. He may have decay, which would be slightly annoying. Oh, he's missing his land. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm also missing my land. I can't imagine my Phoenix surviving this turn. Yep. Is this, um... Genesis Hydra for two. Nope. I will use Lightning Strike here and I'll probably chain his creature while I'm at it. Because I might as well. Yes. Actually, that was a horrible misplay. Now I can't chain his, um, this is, um, this land. There's his land. There's another land. I need to start making up for the damage now.
with some luck I can draw a land, so I can use um, Phoenix plus Barashan. But so far, I've been playing this um, game really weakly. I should not have changed this creature. That was a horrible misplay. If he wants to do more damage, we'll take two here. That way he can swing for four. But that'll put him on 12. And that'll put me on um, 4 plus 2 is 6. I'll be on 12 as well. If he does that though, he'll be in a situation where he'll take um four, five, six, seven, eight, nine the following turn, and I can finish him off with Helix, yeah he'll be dead. So yes, I hope he takes two here, gains one life, goes to twelve, plays Nissa, swing for um six. And then he can swing again for um, another um Nope, he's not crazy. Or or greedy, however you want to call it. Rakdos' return right now will be beyond devastating. And it will be the correct play as well. I'm hoping for Nissa here. Alright, well that's not too bad. I can create a token, that's not gonna help me. I guess I can block with the token. But he probably has removal in hand, so I'm not gonna do it. Do seven this turn, bring him to seven. It's not good enough. The worst part is he gains um, two life next turn. So maybe my best interest is to let this um, resolve. So I can stop from getting two the following turn. Yeah, I think I will let him gain the life there. I'll use the Wally Helix instead. Glad I waited. Nope. And that's a perfect draw. That's not happening.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. He can wipe my whole hand. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yep. Okay. Sure. It's gonna be over. If it even uses four states, it'll still be over. Cause I'll just hit him with my creature. Okay. Well, this game was filled with misplays. Luckily, I still managed to beat him anyway. It was actually quite interesting how he played his um turns out. I was expecting a more greedy play with the um with World Waker. Instead he just played it really passively. I think he was holding back removals to hit my Phoenixes, which I never cast again. It worked out for me. Nope. And no. On tap, charm, GG. No, and no. Okay, well, Chain Rocks, even though it's actually not so bad that game, they're actually bad. So I'm cutting them. I'm bringing in the um, Skullcrack. Total in trouble. Cutting the Phoenixes because um, Sandra kind of negates them. Bring in um, flames, and I'm bringing in two Mismo Mortis for the um, courses. And here we go. <laughs> They're also playing pretty long games. Really risky hand, especially if he has four C's. But the um, Torn Trouble and Phoenix is really hard for me to throw away. Shock's a very nice draw. Probably do five damage at the very least. That's not a bad draw either. It's not a good draw though, but it's not a bad draw. I'm glad I'm drawing gas. Corsa. Okay, I only can do four damage. Now it's just not worth anymore.
on top? He kept it on top. Alright. So he's afraid of chaining rocks. I will use um, Phoenix instead of the um, Tone Trouble. Probably use Tone Trouble as a really weak lightning strike. Okay. Hopefully he has nothing, and I can just hit him with Tone Trouble for 4, which is a Boris Charm, which is definitely pretty good. Nope. Yes! It's happening. I got 4 damage in that makes me pretty happy. No I don't. That'd be too easy, I guess. Mortal. Take out his course, so yes, I, I will take that actually. I also hit land, which may be more of a threat. But then again, card advantage is annoying. But in terms of racing, his um. It's a tough call, actually. Yep. Sure. If I kill his Corsa, I'll be eating 4 damage, perhaps even 10 damage the following turn. I can do 2 damage to him, bring him down to... Okay, let me think about this carefully before I do anything drastic. I can A, kill his land. Risk him gaining more life. Or B, I can hit him with the Miserable Mortar. Deal free damage to him. Hit his um life in card so he can't get any more life. I'll probably take um ten damage the following turn for my troubles. But in return I can do four damage to this creature, so it'll be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, I win that way. If I stop him from gaining life, I guarantee a victory. That's assuming I can connect twice though. If I don't connect twice, everything falls apart. So there's a lot of risk here. If he gains one life, can I still finish him assuming all the other assumptions are correct? Um, I swing with two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He will survive. And if he gains one life though, I can kill him anyway. Assuming he doesn't kill my creature.
Peki Andrews. Yeah, I will use Lightning Strike and Shock next turn, or end of his turn. Oh, thank goodness. He can't have, doesn't have RR. Doesn't have lands, he can't gain any life anyway. He can stew if he really wants to, and I hope he does. Swing in for, um... Eight. He can turn this to a 4-4 four, four creature, activate his Moodle Vault, and go in. But he should be playing his elf though, so he can play his other cards. <coughs> yep. Yeah, I expect that. Still has three lands. Since he tapped this, that means he's not gonna go crazy. Which is a shame for me. I'm lucky I'll top a Boris Charm. But I'm fairly sure I have this. His best out would be... Whoa, he is going crazy. Oh, he still has two mana open though. So it's actually not that insane. I have one turn to end this. Yep, and I have it. He should have zero outs at this point, unless he has um the Vile Flesh. Okay. That's an interesting play. Nope. And shock. And no. GG.